Number one gives us a two-way table that shows the results of asking students if they prefer to have gym class in the morning or the afternoon, and it splits it up by grade level. So how many students total participated in this survey? So you'll see all of the totals at the ends or the edges. And so then the total amount for the entire survey is here at 100. How many students in grade eight preferred to have gym in the morning? So in this case, you are only looking at the eighth graders. So you're only looking here and you're ignoring all the other stuff. So out of the eighth graders, how many want gym in the morning? So then you just look here. And so 18 eighth graders prefer gym in the morning. How many 10th grade students participated in the survey? So now you're looking at just the 10th graders. So we're looking at 10th grade and you're looking at the total number of 10th graders. So we have 12 and 26, which totals 38 10th graders um, that participated. And then how many students prefer to have gym in the afternoon? So now we are only looking at the students that prefer gym. And so if we do that, um, oh, sorry. How many students prefer gym in the afternoon? So now we're looking at the afternoon and how many um, prefer gym in the afternoon. So that would be the total of those two or of those three grades. So eight sixth graders, 21 eighth graders, and 26 for a total of 55 students who prefer gym in the afternoon. Number two, a random sample of adults are asked about their preferences for first dinner, uh, first dinner date with someone. Complete the two-way table so that it has the characteristics listed. So we want 122 people total to have responded to this survey. Now, if you'll notice on this, this two-way table doesn't have any totals. Okay, there's no total column. So I'm gonna put the total out here at 122 because if we had a total of the number that like split check and one person pays or down here, if we had a total of the number who ordered dessert or don't, okay? So you can think of adding another column and row there. Then we want um, 50 of the people who said they ordered dessert. So this is 50 of the people who ordered dessert also prefer to split the check. Okay, so now we're only looking in this ordering dessert column. Okay, there's 50 of the people who order dessert also prefer to split the check. Okay, so when they order dessert, they like to split the check. So that would go there. Um, 68 people prefer to split the check. So now this is the total of the people who want to split the check. So 68 people split the check. So here's the splitting the check places are these two. And we have 68 people who want to do that. Then it says 56 people prefer to skip dessert rather than ordering them. So this means, so skip dessert would mean no dessert, right? So 56 people don't want dessert. And that's the total of these two columns is 56 people. So now you can go and figure out the missing boxes here. So we've got, whoops, that's 68. Let me get that written in so that I can delete the other green box here. All right. Oh, and then I lost my 50, what was it, 56 down here. Okay, so now you can go and fill in the rest of this stuff, right? So if we know that these two boxes need to total up to 68, then we can just do 68 minus 50, which gives us 18 that would need to go here. So that 50 plus 18 gives us the 68. Then we know right here that the no dessert people is 56. So we have 56 and then we can subtract off 18 to figure out how many are left over. So then 56 minus 18 gives us 38. And then um, we can also figure out these other totals here because we know it needs to add up to 122. 
So this number here is going to be 122 minus 68. So 122 minus 68 gives us 54 for people who want one person to pay. And then, you know, you can come up with this different ways, okay? So you can do 54 minus 38 to get to this box. So 54 minus 38 would get us to 16. You could also subtract 122 and 56 to get 66 here and then subtract the 50. But you're just kind of filling in the puzzle pieces once you get the initial information in there. All right, number three says students in seventh, eighth, and ninth grade were asked whether they prefer to write in pen or pencil. 50, or sorry, 40 prefer pen, 60 prefer pencil. Create values that could represent the number of students in seventh, eighth, and ninth grade that responded to this survey. So I just um, drew a two-way table here. So we would have pen and then we would have pencil as our things here. And then they said 40 um, students prefer to write in pen. So 40 needs to be the total of the number of people that wanted pen. And then it said that 60 people prefer pencil. So then we need 60 here, um, which gives us our total of 100 people. So, you know, whatever you pick here needs to total up to 40 and whatever you pick here needs to total up to 60. So you could just do 10 and 10 is 20. So then you'd need 20 here to total up to 40. Okay, we could do maybe 30 people in sixth grade like pencil, maybe um, 20 people in grade eight like pencil. And then 30 plus 20 is 50, so we would need 10 left over here. And that's just one example of what it could be, in which case then you could add these up 40, this would be 30, this would be 30, which does total up to that 100. So that's, you know, one option of what you could have there. Number four, a recent study observed the number of bike riders aged 0 to 20 that wear helmets. The results are represented in the table. Um, make an observation based on the data. So this could be a bunch of different things, okay? You're just making observations and then explaining why. So um, one thing I notice is very few, there's a really small number here, four compared to 21. So there are very few young children don't wear a helmet. So very few um, young kids, and really in this, we're saying zero to five years old, um, do not wear helmets. And you could say, you know, as we age, less and less people wear helmets because these numbers seemed to kind of increase. Now here, you just have very few people um, wearing or not wearing helmets because there's only 15. So that could be another observation. You could say, man, a lot of people ride bikes that are between six and 10 years old because this totals um, to 48 people. So you could say, you know, a lot of people or the most people between six and 10 ride a bike. So a lot of people six to 10 ride bikes. Where not a lot of people 15 to 20 ride bikes. So any observations that you see and then justifying it with a um, reason.